to get your hair cut It's getting awfully hippy like the barber closes soon You better make it sippy like a cheetah Sporting some Adidas So you run from here to there As the wind blows through your hair Suddenly you stop Perhaps you like your mop Now we've got to know Do you chop it off? Or do you scoff and let it grow? Well, when you get a haircut, you better go back home. Cause you might look like Larry Moore or Curly if a stranger cuts your hair Oh Lord Well, Butte, Montana, just passing through One thing I just had to do Had to get a haircut and I was worried for my hair I had a feeling of impending doom The minute I stepped into that room Laid my eyes upon that barber chair Macho barbershop, hair dryers mounted on a rifle rack. Wasn't no mirrors. Barber chair was a Peterbilt. Barber walked in, he is huge, seven feet tall, 300 pounds of spring steel and rawhide. Wearing a hard hat, chewing a cigar, had a t-shirt on, said, I hate musicians. Threw me in the chair, sneered and said, wouldn't it be, pal? Now, a lot of people would be intimidated in a situation like this. I was not. I am what I am, play my piano, sing my little songs. I looked him right in the eye. I said, I'm a logger. Just up from Coos Bay, Oregon. Been topping trees. Quite possibly the toughest man in the entire world. He said, all right. He gave me a haircut and I walked out of there. My hair was gone. Make Kojak look like Bill Golden. Yeah, had a tremendous craving to operate heavy equipment. Now, you may think that that Butte, Montana haircut's the worst any man could ever get. Wrong. Well, a few months later, I was in L.A. Trucking along on a smoggy day. Needed a haircut so bad I looked like Bozo the Clown. I was looking shaggy, not too good. I'd put it off as long as I could. Lord, I hate to get a haircut out of town. Well, I walked in, realized immediately that this guy was into punk rock. The walls were done in black leather. Had chains and whips and handcuffs hanging on it. Barber walked in, he had orange hair. Black mascara. Stainless steel teeth. Black leather jacket with zinc studs. He threw me in the chair, hit me a couple of times, whap, whap, chained me down to a Nazi flag over me. Said, I'm going to tell you something that might make you a little nervous. I laughed. <laughs> I said, what could possibly make me nervous? He said, I'm gay. No problem. I'm not threatened in any way. I mean, I'm secured my manhood. Everything's cool. I am what I am. Play my little piano, sing my little song. I looked him right in the eye and said, I'm a logger. Played football in high school. I was in the Marine Corps. He said, all right, and he gave me a haircut. I walked out of there, friends. My hair was purple. Well, at least that mohawk section down the middle was purple. Had a white streak down one side. Other side looked like Mr. T. Had a couple safety pins in my cheeks. Felt a teeny bit conspicuous. Luckily, my next job was in San Francisco. Shoot, I got up there, I didn't even stand out at all. Wasn't even close. Those people thought I was an insurance salesman. Well, a few months 
later, I was way down south. Grits and gravy and I hush your mouth. My hair so long, I start to look like a man in drag. It was then that the sheriff came up and said, Boy, you got too much hair on your head. You better get yourself a haircut or a dog tag. Well, when I stepped into the shop, I realized immediately that I was dealing with a born-again barber. <laughs> Don't see too many barber shops with a steeple. Had an organ in the corner. Choir. An usher led me to the barber chair. Barber walked in, started saying grace. Oh, Lord, for these haircuts we are about to receive, may we be truly thankful. Dominus, possum, pox, proboscis, postmortem, et to be faithful, a carborundum. He was sort of half Baptist, half Catholic. Kind of a cactus. He started cutting my hair and preaching at the same time. I mean, he's a wild man. Scissors and razors are flying around my head. He's talking about liquor and wild women and music and sex and the evils of dancing and the music business in general. Then he looked down at me and he said, what do you do for a living? Now, I'm not ashamed of what I do for a living. Working bars and casinos, around liquor and wild women. I just play my piano, sing my little songs. I looked him right in the eye and said, I run this church for loggers. When you get a haircut, be sure to go back home. When you get a haircut, get a barber you have known. Since you were a little bitty boy sitting in a booster chair, or you might look like Mary Moore Curly if a stranger cuts your hair. I have a sad story to tell you It may hurt your feelings a bit Last night when I walked into my bathroom I stepped in a big pile of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen I think I'll break off with my girlfriend Her antics are queer, I'll admit Each time I say, darling, I love you She tells me that I'm full of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen Our baby fell out of the window you think that her head would be split But good luck was with her that morning She fell in a barrel of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen An old lady died in a bathtub she died from a terrible fit In order to fulfill her wishes She was buried in six feet of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen When I was in France with the army One day I looked into my kit I thought I would find me a sandwich But the darn thing was loaded with shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen And now folks my story is ended I think it is time I should quit if any of you feel offended, stick your head in a barrel of shaving cream. Be nice and clean, shave every day and you'll always look keen. Oh, hey guys, if you haven't noticed, I shaved my head. <laughs> 
Yay. Now, of course, whenever one has sold his soul to the internet, one can never do such a thing without having to explain himself. So instead of boring you with spoken word, because I know some of your minds are really small and you can't handle spoken exposition, I have written a song on the ukulele about shaving my head and it goes a little something like this. Get ready. I shaved my head. I shaved my head. Go to hell, you fucking bitches. I shaved my motherfucking head. Half of you bitched when I was blonde, and I thought, what the heck? Because the other half was bitching when I switched back to brunette. It's really sort of cute how you think you have control over my body and my choices. As if you motherfucking own me, I'm no beauty queen or model. I think that's obvious when I crawl out of my fucking cave screeching about my precious. If you watch because of how I look, I'd rather you not watch at all. Because you're shallow and your mind is small, suck my dick and lick my balls. Furthermore, I owe no reasons about what I do for me. I don't think I'm fucking hurting you, I'm just young and I am free. It's really not that big a deal, don't know why you shit your pants. There are other things you should think about, like equality and politics, if you remember Captain Picard. He also had no hair, and if you ever went against him, he'd blow you up without a care. You've got Natalie and Charlie's, and of course, remember Brit. I would rather be compared to her than Fontina with Bionic. And if you care more about what's on my head than what you find in it, I've said it once, I'll say it once again. Shut your face and suck my dick. S my D S my D If you care more about what's on my head you can S my F and D So I do this every once in a while because I feel like we could all use a laugh. This week I want you to tell me a joke. You can leave some jokes in the comment section and you get bonus points if they are bald jokes about me especially. Get, bring it on. Last week I asked about your role models. Camille, I am very interested to know why Otto was your role model. Taylor, I think we can definitely all learn something from Heidi. And can we all just appreciate the fact that Ryan Reynolds apparently touches himself to my videos? People have been upset about the lack of dad jokes lately, so I thought I would tack on a few at the end. I also shaved some other parts of my body recently, but only your dad knows about that. Ding. That joke should last you a while. Speaking of lasting a while, your dad didn't last very long last night. Ding. Double whammy. Boom. Your dad double whammed me last night. Triple whammy. Gotta stop. You want to get your hair cut? It's getting awfully hippy like the barber closes soon. You better make it zippy like a cheetah sporting some Adidas. So you run from here to We've got to know Do you chop it off Or do you scoff and let it grow
home. When you get a haircut, get a barber you have known. Since you were a little bitty boy sitting in a booster chair, cause you might look like Larry Moore or Curly if a stranger cuts your hair. Oh Lord. Well, Butte, Montana, just passing through. One thing I just had to do. 